Hey guys, it's Kylie and today I have the basics of pin trading. So this is some of the rules and guidelines that they want you to follow while pin trading. So the number one rule is when trading, you have to have a pin with a metal back. So like even though this one has like a clear like covering on it, it has a metal back and it has to have copyright Disney on it to show a Dis Disney affiliation. So this one says copyright Disney. It doesn't have to have the pin, the new pin trading logo that they have, it just has to say copyright Disney. A um, couple rules is the pin that you sh trading should be undamaged, so this wouldn't be a pin you could trade because it's the paint's chipped off and it's missing paint. So these are good pins to just have in your collection or use as scrap, they're just kind of scrap extra pins um, that you can keep in your collection. Um, you can trade up to two pins per day, so you could trade uh, per cast member. So every cast member you go, you go up to, you can trade up to two pins. That includes every book, everything. So that's per day. So you could trade with, if you're there for seven days and you see the same cast member in the lobby or the same book in the lobby every day, each of those seven days you could trade two pins. Um, when trading with cast members, um, you can ask them to see their lanyards. When they're showing you their lanyards, and you're picking out your pins, just point to them, don't touch them. If You shouldn't be touching their lanyards and touching the pins. You should just be like, I want, can I have the Pluto and the Goofy? And then when they, they'll start to pull them off, you'll get your pins to tra trade with them and you can hand them hand them with the back on. Um, for the, If this was the cast member's lanyard, this example lanyard, um, you couldn't trade this pin for a pin on theirs because they already have this pin on them. So trade with them a different pin that they don't already have on their lanyard um, instead of one that they already ha have a copy of. The pin you're trading, I don't have an example, but it cannot be personalized. So they make they made pins that have that you could write your name on the bottom and you could it could be like a badge looking thing. It could say your name on it and whatever you, it, if it has your name on it or like is personally made, it can't be traded. You also can't trade fan fan pins so some people will make their own like Cinderella pins or some of the Star Wars pins of characters that they don't have a lot of um, and you can't trade those in the parks also um, your pins they can't have like a clasp on the back so if you have any like of the buttons or anything that they give out that have the clasp let me get an example so here's an example so like they give you out the Heroes, so this is from when I was I um, maxed out on Space Ranger Spin. It can have like a clasp like this, like some buttons do, or these have like these. This thing has like this clasp like this, even though it has like the pin trade. This has the pin trading logo on it. Let's see if I can get it to cop. And um, on it, it says copyright Disney. It's unable to be traded because it has the clasps and not the regular pin back like these have. So this is like you couldn't trade. You can wear the, put this on your lanyard, but you couldn't trade for pins with it. Um, and that's, yeah, that's the basics. Um, oh, one other thing I thought I'd add to note is some cast members will have it like this on their lanyards and all you'll see is the pin back and that's a mystery pin. Um, sometimes they'll have all the mystery pins. Sometimes they'll, if they know a pin's like limited edition or something, they'll keep it as a mystery pin and you just like pick it based on not knowing the pin and trade for it. And if you don't like it, you can always just trade it off on another lanyard. But that's always fun if you want to only trade for mystery pins. You never know what you're going to get. Um, yeah, so this is the basics of pin trading, some of the basic rules of pin trading. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Check out some of my other pin videos. Um, I'll have my pin lingo video up in the iCard that talks about like the different types of pins you can trade for and or like buy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe and com uh, turn on the bells uh, notifications. I'm posting every day at 2. Comment down below you, you, if you like to pin trade or if you more like just to collect pins and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!